have an exciting unboxing from Elizabeth and Edward, a.k.a. Enablers Outpost. We have a diamond painting. It arrived to us like this. Uh, it was wrapped in plastic, and then it was wrapped in another poly mailer. This was sent to me directly from the factory. I ordered it drop shipped, which was awesome because then I saved on some money, some shipping fee because I am in Canada. And here is the image. When Elizabeth and Edward, aka Enablers Outpost, when they shared this on their YouTube channel, I was like, oh my gosh, this is me. Because there's like, hello, I'm innocent, and then hello, I'm evil. <laughs> so I had to get it. So let's get into this. We have a square diamond painting. Is it square? Can I see properly? Am I blind? Yes. Okay, we have a square diamond painting. Ooh, there's going to be some ABs. Interesting, interesting. It's going to measure 60 by 60. Here are the colors, so very darkish colors, the red tone colors. Here's our toolkit. Oh, wow. Okay, I've never seen this toolkit before. I have other ones from Enablers Outpost from previous diamond paintings, but I don't think I've seen a toolkit with a purple tray. Oh my gosh, this is so fancy. Look at them stepping up their game. So here's some, I don't know what color this is, blue, teal, green, I don't know, um, tweezers. We have, wow, okay, Scruffy, you need to go, sir. Sir, you need to exit. Oh, a, a cover minder. We have a cover minder. It is gold. It looks like the magnet on the back actually came apart. So it comes with two magnets. So one of these was glued to the back of this cover minder, but it came off, which is not a big deal. I will literally just glue it. It's nice to have these extras, but this is really pretty. This is cute, okay? And then we have blue wax, a purple tray. Okay, you need to go, sir. Sir, a pen. And then we have, what else is in here? We have two multi-placers, a three-placer and a six-placer, I believe. And then we also have, ooh, this matches, a purple squishy, which matches the purple tray. So that is our toolkit. Um, this toolkit is awesome. I honestly, like me, myself, personally, I don't really care about toolkits because I have so many diamond painting things. But if you're new to diamond painting, that toolkit is super nice. Before we look at the canvas, this comes with this sticker sheet. So here's a bigger version of the thumbnail. Here's Enablers Outpost information. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. So it's called The Ones Created on Storms, licensed from Indie Creates. So Indie, Indie Creates. So this is a licensed image. So that means Indie Creates does get money from the sale of their diamond painting, which is awesome. It's 60 by 60 centimeters, 25 colors, two ABs, poured glue, square drills. And then this is a Generation 4.0. And here's their information for social media for the artists if you want to check them out. And then a bio about the artist. Here is a, a colorless slash schematic, which is totally awesome. These are not um, individually cut. Yeah, they're not individually cut, but all you have to do really, it's very simple. Just cut this out and then you can cut the... You can cut these numbers out individually and then put them on your containers or your baggies, however you wish to kit up. So our two ABs are going to be 605 and 666. 666, how appropriate for this kit. Look at this canvas, guys. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And I think it's the perfect size. So again, it's 60 by 60 centimeters. At the top of the canvas, we have Enablers Outpost. On the right-hand side, we have my cat, but we also have a schematic. And there is information for Enablers Outpost. And then on the left-hand side, we have information about the artist. I really like that they have information for the artist. That's pretty cool. This canvas, oh yeah, on the top right-hand side, we have the schematic as well. So this canvas... I'm wondering, so after I'm done diamond painting it, could I technically display it on my wall upside down like this? I think so. So if I'm feeling in a very bad mood, like maybe Aunt Flo is in town, I could use this as a warning. I don't ever have anyone over at my house, but I could use this as a warning. Hey, Aunt Flo is in town. Don't F with me. But then if I'm like, oh, I'm just like chilling, doing my own thing, being an independent woman, I could put it this way because Aunt Flo is upside down and normal girl is here. So 
Anyways, I really like this. This looks really pretty. Let's take a closer look at the drill field, shall we? So we'll look at this girl's face. Okay, so let's take a closer look. I'm not seeing, so I'm not looking through the camera. I'm actually looking through just like my normal eyes. <laughs> I'm using my normal eyes and not the camera screen or my phone screen. But everything to the naked eye, <laughs> my eyes naked, uh, looks really good. Like I'm not seeing anything that like needs to be flagged. Like, oh, this color is going to be hard to see or anything or this symbol. Everything looks good to me. Let me know if you guys see any issues. But I'm excited. and I, Okay, I think I've developed an affinity and love for squares. So I'm very excited that this is a square kit. I believe... I believe I have worked on a square from Enablers Outpost, and it was great. Like, I didn't have any issues. So, I'm very excited. This one I might have to do next, honestly. It looks like a good mixture of confetti. So, areas where uh, there's a lot of different colors, but also color blocking. So, like, the background's going to have a lot of color blocking, which means there's a lot of the same color in a certain area. So, there's a good balance. Uh, some people really love confetti. But for me, I like a good balance of both. Because if something's all color blocking, then to me, that's kind of boring. So I like a mixture. And I just realized in the hand, there's an eye. That's so cool. Okay, let's take a look at the drills and we'll see where those ABs go afterwards. So here are our drills. As I showed earlier, they do come pre-baggy, which is awesome if you don't like kitting up in plastic containers. So you can work straight out of the baggies. And then here are our ABs. So this is AB666, which is like a nice red. And then this is AB605, which is a really nice pink. So I want to see on the canvas where these go. 666 is a very bright red color, like on the canvas itself. So it's easy, it's easy to spot where it's going to go. So it's kind of scattered throughout, but you'll see it here in the evil, evil girl's face. And then her horns, I believe those are her horns. And then you'll also see it, um, it looks like, hold on. You'll also see it in the evil girl's hand. I don't know if you guys can see this in her hand. And so it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going to be the, the red ABs are all going to be involved with the evil girl. So the pink AB, we saw from the drill package that there's not a ton of them, so there's going to be less areas of that pink AB than the red AB. But down here, if you see like this bright color, this bright pink color, it looks probably white on screen, that's where you're going to see pink AB. You'll see that pink AB here. There's a couple in her eyes, and um, I think there's some in her lips. And is there going to be pink AB in the evil person? Not seeing any. So I, I really like, I like the selection, like the very limited selection of where the ABs are going to go. Because the last thing, like for me personally, I hate when there's just ABs everywhere just for the sake of there being ABs. So like this, this amount of ABs I think is acceptable to me. Um... And, like, for me also, I don't even care if there's ABs, to be honest, because, yeah, it doesn't matter to me as long as the image itself turns out really nice. Do you guys like dark art? I personally really like dark art. I like working on a mixture of, like, dark art and then super happy, like, rainbow, different color, a huge variety of color artwork and stuff like that. But, like, this, this is going to be a nice break from that, and I'm really excited about that. If this art isn't for you, though, I highly recommend checking out EnablersOutpost.com to see their other diamond paintings because they really have something for everyone. They also sell diamond painting pens. They make their own diamond painting putty called Chit, C-H-I-T, not the S word. Um, and they also have like a ton of other diamond painting goodies, diamond painting mystery boxes, like with pens in them and stuff. So make sure you go check them out. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. If you're new here, though, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!